change the small offices into different group. And let's take another so this group here we have let's take another sheet and take the category again sales here and I'm creating another group here so here we got actual category and group and group one say here I'm creating it's not from the database actually this department and category item these hierarchy is from database so here I defend my own hierarchy level of detail view level of detail say I can take now group and can drop it over there see here I got all my categories let me take the sales onto the column shelf now if I take the group one here I can actually see the what are the you know different categories there in the group one and if I keep category here see I can create my own level of detail here using groups I can define my own level of detail so these are can be done in tableau what if we see some issues that more than these groups and these hierarchies that's the point here so let's start with conceptual topics of LOD. So guys, LOD is kind of, say example, so we will be having total aggregate information. So LOD help us going forward, you can have detail aggregation and we can reach a place where there is no aggregate so we can see lowest granularity in the level of detail so for example we are running a restaurant business so the lowest granulate of the restaurant business chain is maybe a zip code got it so the same similar way the elbow help us to find different calculations at lowest granularity so let us start with syntax so that I can break the logic here how to use LODs. How can we define LOD? We have three types of LOD keywords. This keyword called scoping keyword. This keyword called scoping keyword. And this is dimension declaration. Here we declare only dimension, nothing else. This is syntax. And then it's a colon then aggregate expression so this is basic level of syntax of LOD so we will be having three type of keywords fixed include exclude most of developers they get confused using fixed include and exclude so here we will start with breaking logics with fixed include and exclude so let's start with the basic level of calculations and before we going to start it so I would like to give you some limitations of this you know uh, scoping keywords we can define scoping keyword and then dimension declaration and even we can write conditions in the aggregation declaration but you must be you know enter once you done with writing the condition or any statement that should enclose by the any of the aggregate functions otherwise the formula is going to be not valid got it and there are top we can even incorporate LOD calculations within the LOD calculations we call them nested LODs so that we discuss later so now let's see the difference of actually this fixed include and exclude and the difference of table scope and multiple dimensions and all this stuff so we are going to be starting with the basic LOD concepts so right now I'm going to be defining 
starting with fixed let's see how this fixed LOD help us I mean works actually so here I'm writing as this as for syntax first we need to start LOD always I mean it should be within the curly braces so we have to open curly brace and then fix is a keyword take the fix is a keyword then we have to declare the dimension so I'm not going with very complex calculations I just want to show you the difference between fixed include and exclude so that once you understand so it helps you to write a lot of logics so here I'm just taking the department as a dimension declaration and colon and here I'm taking some 